Oh my, so much can go right and so much can go wrong when a woman goes into labor. Some students now getting some high-tech help in hopes of preventing delivery room dangers. Severance Diana Diaz explains this pregnancy practice. <laughs> She can't scream at you or call you names. What can you breathe with the contractions in through your nose, out through your mouth? But this robot can actually give birth. Meet Noel, a blonde-haired pregnant robot who's making the rounds in hospitals and medical schools across the world, including right here in South Florida. One of the driving forces behind Making Noel is that 600,000 women die every year in childbirth worldwide. Created in Miami by Gomard Scientific, designers hope Noel will cut down on those deadly deliveries by letting students and midwives practice on a robot. The simulator gives opportunities for the students to practice, and if they do make an error, that they can um, correct that mistake before they go into the clinical situation. With Noel, every delivery can be different. She's actually controlled by a computer and can be programmed to mimic several situations. A breech birth, it could have a shoulder dystocia, um, the, the model can have a postpartum hemorrhage. Plus, just like a real mom-to-be, she's hooked up to monitors where students can track her contractions, pulse, and heart rates. The machine is so lifelike, even the baby can be programmed for problems. Still 71. The delivery feels like the real deal for these nursing students at the University of Miami. It became so real, like I actually became intense and nervous. I think that the, uh, the whole experience of actually doing something like that versus seeing it in a book or even on a video blows it away by miles. It was fascinating. These nurses know with pregnancy practice, practice makes perfect in a real delivery room. You resuscitated the baby well and the mother is happy. More than 2,000 Noel robots have been sold all across the globe, including in Afghanistan. Each one can cost up to $20,000. In the Newsplex, I'm Diana Diaz, 7 News.